Hi everyone, welcome back again with another travel vlog from Switzerland. And this time visiting the famous Swiss chocolate store that's Lindet and trying out Swiss cheese because the land is famous for that too. Then exploring few parts and many of you had asked me how kids are spending their days with fathers. So a glimpse of that at the end. This day was really cloudy and rainy, so the weather was a bit dull but still the day was very beautiful. As usual, we had already taken our train tickets up and down and the bus stop is just few minutes away from the railway station. Like last time, we couldn't explore much outside, take pictures as it was raining. So we waited in the bus shed, watching the people there. This grandma was waiting for her grandchild with a teddy bear and was so lovely to see them posing for pictures. Finally got into the bus. Mountain, you will see snow for sure today. The good thing about the rain is uh, they get the first snow. And they really desperately need the snow on top of the mountain. We have Christmas very soon, yes. so they need a lot of snow for skiing season. Yeah? Mm -hmm. On the top of the mountain, we will for sure we're gonna see some snow. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now this trip took till the Mount Shilton, but our pre-booked trip was only to a village that we stopped just before that. So our guide asked us if we wanted to join them, and why not? So we paid on the spot, and it was worth. On the way, we stopped at the Lindet store where we were given milk or dark chocolate for tasting. Thank you for the dark. You're welcome. The shop had the price of chocolates lesser than what we could get in other shops in Zurich. There were varieties and we bought a few from there. There were little teddies for little boys and girls. You can pick and mix from these counters too. On the way had this nuts filled chocolate. It had that syrupy taste, so not a big fan of this flavor. Now our next destination is to the cheese factory. Now Switzerland is famous for their cheese. Our itinerary had the cheese factory visit and tasting some of their famous varieties in the cheese. We normally have soft cheese when we are at home in Middle East that we could spread on the bread and even mozzarella cheese was our favorite. I'm not even a big lover of cheddar cheese because of the slightly strong smell it has got. So we were really not having any idea of what kind of cheese we would be tasting. So hoped for the best. We were going to Appenzella Cheese Factory which is produced in the Appenzell region of Switzerland. They have their own trade secret recipes. They have three types which is sold, one which is classic three to four months aged and mildly spicy then another one with gold label which is almost four to six months aged and strongly spicy then is the extra one which is in black label and that is extra spicy finally we are at the spot with the group as it had rained the weather was a bit more colder than the other days so we are seated to have the tasting of each cheese variety the most famous cheese of Switzerland. That's our Appenzell of cheese. What's important that we start with the mild one. We have here the Appenzeller Mildwürzig, Appenzeller Bio, that's an organic one. It takes two to three months to be ready. We have the Appenzeller Kräftig Würzig, four months to be ready. This is a stronger one, the Appenzeller Extra, six months it takes. It was up to now my favorite, but we have a new one that this I already Right, many times. Here we have the Appenzeller Edelwürzig. It takes nine months. Oh. Yeah, like a baby. <laughs> we have some figs, for, some nuts, dried apples, and here we have some broth. Very good, Side actually, like the medicine. Finally, began with a milder one. 
The lady had explained four varieties and we took a bite of each. Me and Nazri couldn't have it as such because a milder one itself for us had a strong taste. But while having it with the bread made it much better. Now this is a sachet given to us to mix in some herbs and we could take it back home. You'll see that in a minute. The machines to churn are below here. Lots and lots of cheese. And now these are the dried herbs we could take out using a key given to us. We could mix our favorite and add it in the sachets given to each of us. It's in fact to add in while preparing cheese, but I don't know if I'll be making cheese. I guess this is their secret ingredient they use. Meanwhile, it was snowing outside and it was really lovely to enjoy the snowfall. We clicked a few pictures which you might have seen if you're following me on Instagram. Now next spot was to Mount Shilton. As I said earlier, this was not included in our itinerary, but we definitely wanted to go with the team. Hence the tour guide made a ticket for us on the spot and it's really a must go spot. The weather was really lovely. And there we enter the cable car. Uh, on this mountain, usually they have uh, quite strong winds on the top because on the top we have the valley of uh, rain. Yes. And uh, there we have, uh, it's open to the south, that we get a lot of uh, winds. On stormy days, they can't uh, even, uh, they don't operate. The revolving restaurant is uh, open, that's the one on the very top. So you will see 360 degree of the clouds from the inside. <laughs> when you are sitting in the restaurant, look at the ceiling, they have some, uh, they, they show the directions. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Milan, Vienna, the Shilton is a summit in Europe. It lies above the village of Moren, I guess the name is right, and the cable car takes us to the top. There's a revolving restaurant on top, you'll see there in a minute when you get to see the clips from top. The view from top was amazing. It was a bit cloudy, but that itself had its own beauty. Playing with snow is always fun. Now getting inside the revolving restaurant, it's named Piz Gloria and it was featured in a James Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. The restaurant revolves a full 360 degree in 45 minutes. You can get beautiful view of abs, but since it was very cloudy, it wasn't much visible. We ordered a soup which was pumpkin soup. 
it was very much filling so we didn't order anything else later then i had one cappuccino as well we spent some good time relaxing in the restaurant having a good view outside and then it was time to get down i was watching him last night i could be in the fbi You can see how beautiful the snow-covered mountains and trees look. Really magical to the eyes. I have seen such beauty in paintings and even in our Austrian trip, but this is really magical and beautiful. The view on getting down was really lovely. clicked some beautiful pictures on reaching back though the cheese factory that we had visited was an appenzel we didn't spend time exploring the village but we got to do that returning from mount shilton and appenzel village is really a very beautiful one our guide had instructed us we could join him for a walk in the village or we could even explore by ourselves but nobody wanted to get lost in the village so all prefer to follow him this beautiful wooden houses along the street here this is very unique here in Appenzell you can see more of these houses in the old town along the main street all these houses were built after the year 1651 a short uh, introduction to the old town we walk mm -hmm. through the old town for about 20 minutes mm -hmm. show you some of the interesting houses or uh, you still have half an hour to go to the brewery uh, but then you can come with me we leave here 5:30 mm -hmm. and uh, if you want to come with me yep. follow me across the bridge to the old town okay mm -hmm. this is a famous uh, bakery and I told you about it. it's a very soft biscuit made of almond and honey with a stuffing very sweet uh if you want on the way back you can go in there they give you a little piece to try yeah it's a local beaver historic place the house is here the first ones were built you see it over there 1535 for example the house there Uh, very old so uh, also this one here this house was a restaurant and burned down oh, no. and because they had very strong winds i told you the winds from from the rhine valley strong winds from the south they from here they blew the fire right into the old town and mm. all wooden houses mm. so the whole town burned down in the year 1560 They're making uh, something very typical for this area. They're making the belts uh, with the metal plates. Uh, the belts for uh, a real Appenzell man is wearing one of these belts, and the real Appenzell dog is also wearing a necklace with these uh, plates. This is very, very expensive because it's all handmade. Yeah. It's called in German word for this for uh, is ziselieren. Uh, Our guide had explained a lot about the village and gave us some time to explore by our own and then we got back to the same spot where our van was waiting.
walking back we got into the bakery he had told about in the beginning we got a biscuit for tasting and we checked out few pastries but didn't shop anything from there Now many of you wanted to know how our husbands and kids were spending time without us being present with them. They were equally enjoying especially kids. They were at the play area where they spent whole day. And that's my father's brother in the middle who had prepared lunch at his residence and invited my brother and niece for having food. and even few of our family friends had invited my husband and kids for lunch much much thanks to all of them and that ends today's video hope you liked it see you all with another one until then take care and bye bye